Hey everyone, how's it going? Excited to announce the new Vibe Coding experience in AI Studio. Um, so we've got a whole week of, of updates and launches that are gonna be taking place around this new experience. Uh, so we'll start off today with this new build start experience uh, when you go into Vibe Coding. Um, so if you click on the left nav, if you click on build or from the homepage, you click on Vibe Code, uh, you get dropped into this new experience. Um, the idea here is let's enable you to build AI powered apps. So I think as uh, we think about like, what are the unique things that our team can do? Uh, we have all this amazing Gemini API infrastructure behind the scenes, and we want to help people build AI apps with it. Um, so you have all these great suggestions of ways to sort of, you know, as the, as the quote says, supercharge your apps with AI. Um, there's lots of stuff. Again, this is basically everything that's available in our API. I don't want to necessarily make the decision. So this is my favorite feature is you click on feeling lucky um, and we get some really, really cool different experiences uh, and you can sort of cycle through different options. Um, so let's do this. Create a trivia game featuring an AI host with dynamic users, user chosen personality. Um, it's going to generate images with Imagine. It's going to use flashlight for faster responses. Um, and then we'll also have 2.5 Pro. So let's build it and see what happens. Um, and while this takes place, I'll sort of speed along, but um, you see on the left-hand side, you have just a traditional like code assist experience where you can chat with uh, the model and make suggestions. Um, you have deployment options up in the right. So you can save to GitHub, you can deploy your app, uh, you can just share it with people, you can switch over to an API key, you can download the code, you can make copies, lots of things that are available. Um, you can also go in and directly edit the code. So during right now, we'll see the generation happening. Um, but if you wanted to go in and tweak a bunch of stuff, you can do that, uh, which is awesome. Um, this experience is also free, uh, so you don't need to there's, you don't need to sort of put in a credit card or anything to get started. If you want to deploy um, through Cloud Run or you want to use some of the premium models that aren't available for free, like VO 3.1, for example, uh, you do need to switch over to a paid API key, which we make easy to do in the top right hand corner. Uh, but for the most part, the experience is, is free to get started with and, and build some cool things. Um, so you can also, again, we're using uh, 2.5 Pro's thinking capability right now. So it's putting together a plan and then we can actually see all the different files that are being created. And something that's sometimes helpful to me at least uh, is you can hover over and see like what is actually happening in these files. So create the entry point for the React app, rendering the app component. So this is helpful for me also as someone who is not a native TypeScript developer, I know Python way better um, to be able to see all these different things. So. All right, we've got our trivia game app featuring an AI host with a dynamic user chosen personality. Um, so let's see, maybe we'll do a sarcastic robot um, and we'll see what happens. One thing of the principles governing the buoyancy would be intuitive. What is the name of the female uh, where the object's apparent weight decreases in fluid due to the upward force? Pfft, no idea. Um, Per release principle. Nope, not right. Um, yeah, so lots of fun, uh, lots of fun possibilities. And it looks like the, I think 2.5 Pro, if I remember correctly, yeah, the AI powered chatbot is actually powering these questions. Um, then we have an image studio, which is really interesting. So maybe we'll do, um, I don't know how these things are connected together. So that's maybe like my follow on of like, what, why, why do I have all these different features? Uh, trivia chat and image generation all in one place seems odd. Uh, but that's the fun part is you can go in and you continue to edit and sort of refine the experience that you want iteratively. Um, we also have these AI suggested features. Um, so maybe if we do uh, yeah, we'll do this one and it comes together with, and these are actually suggested based on 2.5 flashlight, looking at the code in the context of what you're building. And this is implement a feature to display history of previously generated images in the image studio tab, allowing users to revisit creation. So very cool. You can actually continue to iterate, um, if you want, but this is sort of the, the guts of the new experience. Um, again, you can ignore this pirate persona one, which is a joke, uh, that is only available internally. Um, Lots of cool things you can click through, you can add all these uh, and put together some really, really interesting ideas uh, based on what's possible. So I hope you enjoy this experience. We'll have more updates over the next couple of days and uh, send us feedback. Enjoy, enjoy building. See ya.